Hey, ha oh, treble. Do those kind of drives look familiar? If they do, this move kills so many golfers when it comes to slicing it, and we're gonna fix it today really quickly, really simply. So one of the most common moves I see from slicers time and time again is this shift off the ball, what people may be calling sway, so they move off the ball on the backswing, and then they stay there and rotate. So they stay back there and they turn as hard as they can, try and clear hips, those kind of ideas. This is dragging the path left for a lot of people. If they leave the face open to that, that's when we start to see those big old cut shots. And if you're that person in the second shot of that video where I just ain't way further left to try and compensate for it, you can see I couldn't even get through this gap here. Let's straighten up your path and see if your face falls into line. So if we think about your backswing in a kind of two-dimensional two format here, face on, what we're seeing from golfers is they're turning, but as they turn, they pull off the ball quite a long way, let's say three or four inches moving to the right, rotate, and then the problem is, is they don't get back, they stay there and rotate and turn and off that path goes to the left. Now, I'm not worried if you have this little pull off the ball if you watch all good players and I'm not a good player but I do it my first movement my takeaway is to move to the right but then what happens is I start to reset with my hips and my hips start to rotate almost going back towards the target as I finish off my backswing to then turn through and try and get that path hopefully we're turning a little bit squarer. So really simple drill for you to do. You could do this on the course before you hit shots, when you're practicing, wherever. You set yourself up to an imaginary shot. I'm just on the side of the ball here. I'm gonna place my trail hand on my trail hip. What I'm gonna do is try and turn with my shoulders, turn with my hips, but I'm gonna push my hips towards the target as I make that backswing. So I'm actually pushing my hips this way as I allow them to turn. It creates fantastic coils, ideas of turning and twisting your hips without the massive pull off. And you'll feel at the top of your backswing how it sets you a bit more up to kind of get up to that ball and hopefully push that path a little straighter. Like I say, doing this idea before you hit shots, you can work it into your practice regime. You can literally put it on the tee as you go. It gives you a great feeling of how you want that upper body and lower body to work for lots of golfers that feel slightly contradictory because it feels like they're almost going that way with their body where they're so used to everything going back and around. So we still want plenty of hip turn, we still want plenty of shoulder turn. I don't mind if you let your hips move on to your right side to kick off that swing, don't worry about that. Now from here, start pushing them back and stretch your lead arm, so for me, my left, out and away from you to then come through. Let's show you how this would work in, say, my pre-shot routine. And I would do a similar pre-shot routine idea kind of on the range as well. So I'm a bit of like a look behind the ball, gonna pick my starting point, and then I like to have a couple of practice swings, and I'm gonna literally do this move a couple of times, just let it go. And then what I'm gonna do is try and hit a shot as bled into that feeling, kind of as quick as possible where it feels comfortable. So I get that feeling onto a strike. Very different shape, very different shot. Just drawing up to the left side of the bunker there. Take that all day long. Moving path is the key to trying to get you to stop those big curving ones. If the face falls in line with you as well, that's a bonus. Let's get away from these horrible slice shots. It's a simple fix and it just helps so many golfers. Let me know if it helps.